Greetings my subscribers as well my newly subscribers. Thank you for coming. Now for today I'm going to demonstrate to you on how I brush my coconut open, ox it out, cut them up, wash them off, blend it, then extract it to get the coconut milk. Now guys, this demonstration is worthwhile watching and you don't want to miss this so stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, so here's my lovely coconut, my cultivation. So what I'm gonna do, because I love to drink the water from the, the coconut, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my small knife and poke, poke the hole right here, because you have three holes, right? But only one can open, and this one is it. So put this one, and then I'm gonna drink the water from here. Then I'm gonna breast open, oxidize out, so I'll show you, and how I get it done, all right? So keep on tuning in. Mmm. Coconut water nice. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Oh yes. It's uh, done now, so I just see the whole I pork here. And I just suck the water through here. But the thing about it, if the breast open, the water may waste. I don't want the water to waste. So what I do, I just put the water here and just have my way with the water. I'm gonna show you guys on how I breast open and oxidize. So keep on tuning in. All right, so here's my coconut. I have my machete, but I'm gonna use the back of it. The back, this is the blade right here, and this is the back. I'm gonna be using the back of it, all right? So, as you can see, I have um, five pieces. So, I'm going to oxidize out now. So, I use a tip of the knife, like so. I use a tip of the knife, right? Then, I try to stick it in right here. Then, take the time I work it. Mm hmm. Actually, it's breaking. So I'm just going to cancel the same thing like so I'm just working because I'm trying to get the nut from the shell okay. that's quite simple but you know um, for some folks who live in some country where you can't get the coconut let them use the coconut powder instead. But it works for the same way. Now I mean the only difference is that this is more natural. This is more natural. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, this one find a corner like so. You can stick it in there. Then work it. Work the knife. I work it. Put it in there and work it. There it is. See? How easy that was. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to come to the CM step. Okay, everything is complete. I got two more pieces to go. Cover this piece. See the coconut is now clean, they rent it off. So what I'm gonna do now is to cut up it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them up and show you now what we alright. So I'll start off by doing like this. Now the coconut is bone dry now, so if I notice some of them may probably, you know, when I cut them, they may probably <laughs> take off, you know what I mean? Now when I take off, I'm talking about the main fact where because it's bone dry, some of them may eventually just scatter when I'm cutting it. You know, mm -hmm. that's just about it. Alright, so I'm gonna, that's what I'm saying. The piece has gone across this wall. Alright. That's talking about the bone dry, I'm telling you that it's bone dry. This is how I like to um, cut up my coconut, you know what I mean? Put them into strips, that's what I'm blending them. Now doing it this way, it's much better for me. So I'm telling you guys, they're scattering man. But that's just how it is when I cut up coconut. Alright, so we have some smaller pieces in here.
Approximately one more piece. Let's just check it out and see. But I've remained in that. Two more small pieces, well, three more, and this one. So I'm gonna do this quick. about the coconut <laughs> while well, I'm cooking the coconut sometimes they just go about their own business you know what I mean but I must have before that just so they sometimes you know it can be a little bit challenging at times because you know when you're cutting the coconut and expecting the coconut to fall within the container it's going about its business one more piece let me just check in here thoroughly just to make sure that there's no other piece in here because you know when I'm gonna blend I, I shouldn't be searching for nothing all right so I have two more pieces leave I'm just gonna count it up cutting these pieces up So it's not about finish. Alright, so now that was a good workout. Alright, so as you can see, the coconuts are now finished cutting up. So what I'm gonna do is to blend it. Alright, so I don't need to wash it again because I had washed it already, so I don't need to wash it again. So I'm just gonna get the blender and um, hook it up. And now I'm going to blend this. Alright, so in goes the coconut.
in goes the water. Then I'm gonna cover it. spoon to add some tension and the trash within the strainer because you see the thing is that based on how things situate here the juice won't flow out the way we want it flow so what I'm going to do now is just to use the spoon and add some tension to the trash in the strainer and that way you know the balance is just going out Be careful what I do because I don't want to break the strainer when doing this. So that's really what I'm doing. You know? I should have to be careful on what I'm doing. percent pure coconut milk. Guys, it's always been a pleasure to share with you what I prepare in my kitchen. So please remember to thumbs up the video, leave as well as a comment, share me out, subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell and allow to be on all that way you'll be the first person when notified when I drop a new video. Thank you for watching.